Hello! Today's stories come from r slash am I the butthole. We've got three stories today and we're keeping it in the family. Let's start with, am I the butthole for refusing to cook dinner for my stepmother and her guests after she's been refusing to let me eat the food she cooks? 16-year-old male here. My dad married my stepmom just about a year ago. She didn't want me to live here and wants me gone. I've insisted that I should stay as I don't want to live with my mom. Her husband is a piece of work, so we're always clashing. She announced last month that she wouldn't allow me to eat anything she cooks or cook anything that she buys and I should arrange my own food completely separately down to the ingredient level, including salt, because I'm not her problem to deal with. This is annoying, but anyway, I can handle it and I didn't want to act entitled, so I started buying and cooking my own food. We've been going like this since then. Her sister had an accident a few days ago, and on the day of the accident, stepmother texted me in the afternoon saying she's bringing the sister's children over and they'll arrive around midnight. She asked me to buy groceries and snacks and make a late dinner for them. I never replied to her and didn't do anything. I have to say that while for a few hours it didn't look good for her sister, and she did have to go into surgery, it ended up being successful, and she will thankfully make a full recovery. They came, she noticed there's no food, and they indeed were hungry, so she was angry at me, and I told her that it's not my problem to deal with. And she said, I'm being a jerk. And I said, takes one to know one. She ended up ordering pizza. My dad told me that I was out of line, and I should have just done what she wanted me to do because it was an emergency, and I should have done a favor for her, and it would have gone a long way to improve our relationship. I told him that our relationship has always been hopeless because she hated me for no reason. So there's nothing I can do that can make her hate me any less. And at this point, I've accepted it and don't care anymore. He said it's not true and I'm now grounded. Oh my gosh, I can't even. This is nuts. Opie sounds like an awesome kid and definitely not the butthole. Stepmom is obviously the butthole, but so is the dad. Sounds like he does whatever his wife says, which is his choice. But he certainly shouldn't allow his wife to treat his son like that. I actually feel bad for OP. I bet he's counting down the days until he can move out. The comments were obviously one-sided. Beneficial Music said, Not the butthole. Why is your dad allowing this to happen? You are 16 and living at home. You shouldn't be paying for your own food. Make your dad fix this problem. OP replied, My dad pays me for the food I buy, although stepmother believes I should pay for it myself because I have an income. Someone else added, not the butthole, but your mom can't possibly be worse than your dad. You're a kid and providing food for you is a parental duty. If he's letting his wife dictate that you can't have any food she purchases, then he's a trash bag of a human and you deserve better. Get the F out of there as soon as you can. OP replied, both my mother and her husband have a drug addiction problem. I wouldn't feel safe over there. At least over here, I know I'm dealing with a butthole, but I'm safe. Matt McCormick asked, info. How did your dad sire you when he has no fracking balls, not the butthole? I come up added, this is the real question here. Our second story delivers on the comedy. Am I the butthole for asking my in-laws the same questions they ask me? Hello, Reddit. I'm a 30-year-old female and I got engaged to my fiancé a month ago. My in-laws, especially mother-in-law, are the type of people that ask a lot of questions. Personal questions at that. Their questions tend to be hurtful sometimes, but I try not to get easily offended and take it personal. But those questions are getting out of control. Instead of lashing out and being rude, I've decided to answer these questions by turning it back on my in-laws and asking them the same questions they ask me. For example, whenever my fiancé and I are visiting, my sister-in-law would ask, Hey, when are you going to lose those pounds? I go, When are you going to lose those pounds? You've put on a lot of weight recently while pointing at her eyes wide open. She'd get then easily offended. Father-in-law would ask, when are you going to get your own house? I go, when are you going to get your own house? Aren't you 73 and still paying rent for your house? They live in a rental house. He gets highly offended. Brother-in-law would ask, when are you going to get married? I go, when are you going to get married? You don't even have a girlfriend yet. They've obviously picked up on my vibe, but the blow up occurred last night when my fiance and I were at their house for dinner. Mother-in-law looked at me while I was eating and went on about kids and grandchildren. She then asked, when are you going to start giving us babies? My fiance looked at me with an oh boy type of look. I felt no hesitation. I looked at her and said, when are you going to start giving us babies? That's what I want to know. The table went quiet, though some family members laughed. 
Mother-in-law and her daughter and husband mad, all types of angry faces. Then dinner was over. I got scolded by my fiancé on the way home, telling me I was being rude with the way I talk back and respond to his family's innocent questions. Yeah, questions they've already asked a million times before. Hard eye roll, but whatever. We got into an argument, and he then looked at me and said, Why are you being hostile? I said, Why are you being hostile, getting in my face and yelling? He yelled at me again, saying I'm driving him crazy, and called me childish and immature, then stormed off to the bathroom. Am I the butthole? Really? Not the butthole. OP's fiancé should tell his family to back off. Sounds like they're being rude. Families that don't know what an appropriate boundary is don't generally take too kindly to people setting them. Now, onto some pretty direct comments. Weaselpoof said, Not the butthole. This is hilarious. Your in-laws are being rude and at this point should be able to predict how you'll answer these questions. Does your fiancé really not think they're being invasive? Maybe talk about this before you get married. Kawaii Judo Chop added, They don't have a family problem. They have a fiancé problem. The fiancé isn't backing them and they should go to counseling or not get married. A united front is needed. Own Tradition said, Not the butthole, just because this is too funny and if your fiancé can't see that himself, let him answer all future questions his family chooses to throw at you. Just keep eating or doing whatever you were doing when asked and leave him in the hot seat. Someone else said, Not the butthole. There's a lot of adages for this nosiness that you could use here. Don't dish what you can't take. Ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. What goes around, comes around. You reap what you sow. But I think I'm just going to go with an old quote from an unknown source. When karma comes back to punch you in the face, I want to be there, just in case it needs help. Our third story is, am I the butthole for telling my wife my job has to come before hers? Background. Me, 35-year-old male. My wife, 34-year-old female. And our two kids, three and five, live in a very high cost of living city. I make about five times as much as my wife, so we do pretty well. If my income were the same as my wife's, we would not be able to afford to live in our city. My job is pretty low stress, about 35-ish hours a week with the only requirement that I be on call for one week out of each month. Normally, nothing ever happens. So I do my usual routine with the understanding with my wife that if I am needed, I will drop whatever we are doing and work until the work issue is resolved. This only ever happens once every quarter and only lasts a few hours. My wife, on the other hand, has a much more stressful job. Her boss is incredibly demanding and often demands random and insane things just as a power play with her subordinates. She usually works about 45 to 50 hours a week. As a result, I take care of most home stuff, drop off, pick up kids from daycare, cook meals, and generally keep the house clean. The am I the butthole incident. It was an on-call week after work hours when my wife got a text from her boss about fulfilling an emergency request for a client. My wife complained to me that this request really could wait until tomorrow, but she would rather get it done so she doesn't have to listen to her boss ream her out in the morning if it's not done. I had no problem with it, but I reminded her that I am on call so I might need to switch with her if something came up. She made a grunt of acknowledgement, but nothing beyond that. About two hours later, I get an all-hands call to immediately come into the office. Normally, I can resolve issues remotely, but we had an issue that prevented us from remoting in. I rush upstairs and told my wife I had to leave only for her to turn around and say, sorry, but my issue came up first. You are going to have to tell your work you can't. I was taken aback and told her that no, this issue isn't something I can skip for anything short of I am physically in the hospital and can't come in. She got increasingly angry and started ranting at me, but I told her that I didn't have time for this and that I'm leaving. When I get back, we can discuss this. She started crying but I had no more time, so I left for the office. On the way, she called me to continue the argument, and in the heat of the moment, I said, look, I respect that you put a lot of time and energy into your work, but we cannot afford our house or lifestyle without my job. So when push comes to shove, my job has to come first. Otherwise, we are going to be on the streets. She hung up on me after that. When I got home about three hours later, around 11 p.m., the kids were crashed out on the living room couch with several bowls of cereal spilled around them. I went upstairs and my wife was locked in the bedroom and refused to talk. In the morning, I found out from the kids that she spent the night crying in her room and didn't feed them dinner or tuck them in, so they made cereal and had a sleepover in the living room. This seems a bit off. It sounds like there's more going on here. Maybe OP's wife is really unhappy with her job and 
dealing with some questions around adequacy. I don't know. Either way, I have to say not the butthole. OP made it clear that on call means on call. And so if he was scheduled to be on call, then technically, I think his work thing was first if OP's wife wants to go with that as a measure. Sounds like OP's wife needs a new job for her own sanity and the sake of the family. I realize that's easier said than done sometimes, though. Let's check out some additional details from OP in the comments. Upstairs Banana said, I'm not going to lie, I was prepared to give you a you're the butthole after reading the title, but no, you're absolutely not the butthole in this situation. Her behavior with the kids was horrible. She must change her job and attitude. OP replied, I have tried many, many times to get her to look for a new job, but she won't. I think it's partially a sense of loyalty to her job and a fear of newness. OP added, a lot of people have responded and encouraged my wife to go to therapy. Too many to reply to individually, so I will just leave it here. I have brought up therapy before, but she is very resistant to it. She always has an excuse like, I'm too busy, or they won't be able to help me. I'm not sure what more I could do for her when she won't do anything to change the situation. I have said my piece said, not the butthole. She's being unnecessarily argumentative and ignorant. Your job is worth more. That's just the way it is. If you lost your job tomorrow, you as a family would feel it. If she lost hers, probably not so much. Her ego is getting in the way of what's important. If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Thanks, and bye for now.